What's good guys, welcome back to another video. So today we've got a pretty cool one. I'm going to be testing out a new film slash edit technique. I'm going to be using the Insta360 to make a velocity slash speed ramp kind of edit. I usually make these edits with a normal camera and gimbal and they turn out super sick, but they're just like a lot of effort to make. You got to have good technique with the gimbal, be good with the camera and settings and everything, but it's just a lot of effort. And today I'm going to be trying it with Insta360 because I'm pretty sure all you got to do is put it on a stick and just walk around the bike like that and then do everything later on in editing so that's what we're going to be doing today trying out a speed ramp slash velocity edit that i'm going to be making for instagram and tiktok and all that and i'll show you guys behind the scenes of how we make that so let's get into it first off we gotta go find a sick location this is already pretty sick but kind of boring let's go find something cooler all right we got a nice scenic cruise today let's have a bit of fun stay safe and see what we get up to. <laughs> Slid out of it there with traction control. Hey buddy. Oh, that reflection never gets old. Nice electric bike, bro. Is that Amped Bros? No, it's not. I take it back. Oh, you're turning right. I would have had no idea. Look at the postie. Flooring it. Oh, he wants to race. He's probably faster than me. Yeah, he's literally faster than me. <laughs> hey, this thing doesn't have much go, I'm telling you. It needs to be unrestricted. <laughs> did he blow his car up or some shit? Why is he pulling over? <laughs> Jesus, did he... I, I wasn't pushing it. I hope he didn't break his car or something. <laughs> hey, I didn't enforce that. That had nothing to do with me. Perfect downshifts. Oh, all right, that could have been better. The slipper clutch in this makes it like weird to downshift, but on the R3, I could downshift so nicely because it didn't have a slipper clutch. I don't know if it makes much of a difference, but I think it's just the thing you got to get used to. Or you just get a quick shifter and an auto blipper. That would be nice. Next bike, maybe. Is that rain? Is it raining right now? Oh, that would be a mega bummer. I think it might be sprinkling. Well, we better make this quick, eh? Because that looks like a storm cloud. I think just here could be cool as long as I don't get in trouble, you feel me? Let's get it set up now, okay. Okay, I'm thinking here if it stands. Oh, it's cool, but uh, it needs to be the other way around. I wanna shoot on the side that doesn't have the stand and has the exhaust. <laughs> right here like this oh yeah that looks sick this is gonna be cool and hopefully this will be as simple as i think so we just extend the pole press record and simply just walk around the bike just like that simple no gimbal techniques needed none of that we can just do easy simple shots go up here down and low around high and low again close around the back look at that easy this is gonna look sick i'm gonna turn the gopro off get a few more of these shots and then we'll see how it turns out should be enough and if it doesn't look good then learn from my mistakes and try again so let's go home check it out see what it looks like and get to editing <laughs> come here birds come here <laughs> I swear I'm dragging knee right now. Oh, that would have been a cool spot to film as well. I actually want to go there and take a photo. 
Look at this. I assume I'm allowed here, just not behind that gate. There's a car there. I just want to take a picture and maybe a little video. Let's get a photo or two. How's it look? Pretty cool. I think we need to get closer. I feel like I'm setting off an alarm. Oh, there's literally a truck coming over. Quick video before they have to come out. Come tell me what you need, please. What you need, please. I can show you. Wanna stay with me on a low key? I don't know you. I saw you. I got this ride in before it rained because I think it's gonna rain for the next week or four days, something like that. Got this ride in before then, so that's good. So nice when you move. All right, guys, we are now back from the ride and it is time to get into the editing process. I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I do to get this effect. So first off, we're gonna be opening up the Insta360 Studio. I have my clip here selected out. So it's just this clip here where I push in closely and then film around the bike. So as you can see, it's not tracking the bike. So what you have to do, get your shot centered up like this, come to this tool, which is the deep track tool, and just draw a square around the subject. In this case, it's my bike. Start tracking and it should just track. Sometimes it doesn't work probably, but hopefully this time. That looks pretty good. That looks perfect to me. I'm gonna stop it there and just end off the clip there. And if we watch it back, it tracks the bike pretty well, pretty beautifully. And now all we gotta do is add a speed ramp, but you can take the tracking a little bit further. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that and then we'll get into the speed ramp. I'm gonna be using After Effects because I have a plugin called Twixter, but you can do this speed ramp effect in any program, Premiere Pro, even CapCut. You can do some crazy editing in there now. So just look up a tutorial for that and you should be good. Here we have my clip loaded in and it looks beautifully tracked from the Insta360 Studio, but we can take it a step further by clicking the clip going to this tracker section and choosing stabilize motion. You choose a point and it will just track that point and stabilize around that point, if that makes sense. So we're gonna make sure the quality is on full. So you have full resolution of your tracking. Come in here and just find a spot with decent amount of contrast so it can tell what it's tracking. We'll see if this works. Click analyze forward. It's doing an all right job so far. I feel like it's gonna mess up though. Yeah, a little bit of a mess up there, there as well. There as well, that was a pretty big mess up. We can analyze backwards and it will fix those problems. Yep, as you can see, it fixed those problems. Then we analyze forward again. And I'm gonna stop right there. I'm then gonna cut the clip, go back and just click apply. Watching back the footage now, look how beautiful it looks. Even more stable and tracked, but as you can see, these black borders come in. All you gotta do is punch in the scale and it should sort that out. We're gonna grab Twixter, add it onto the clip. My input frame rate was 30 FPS. I'm going to change this to contrast edge enhance, change the frame number, start on about five. We'll go to about two seconds. Just pretend there's a song there or something. And we'll go here. We'll go another few seconds ahead and then we'll go there and then we'll cut it like that. You open up the keyframes, click FN, F9 to easy ease the keyframes. Open up this graph editor and just do this with the keyframes. This is what creates the speed ramps. As you can see, they literally look like ramps. Now let's watch it back. It speeds up, slows down, speeds up again, slows down, it speeds out. It doesn't look that good right now. It's not synced to any music, but that's pretty much it. And also if you want to add motion blur, if you have the Twixter plugin, you just go to here to motion blur conversation and type in one and it just adds a bit of computerized motion blur. Sometimes it doesn't look good. So you got to turn it down a little bit. But in this case, I think that looks pretty nice. Now we're just going to add in a song, finish off the entire edit and see what that looks like. <laughs> Yeah. 
And there we have it guys, that is the completed edit. I think it turned out pretty sick. I'm gonna be posting that on TikTok and Instagram. So if you have the time, go check it out and show some support. I hope you guys enjoyed today's motor vlog and sort of tutorial. If you learned anything new, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what you guys wanna see in future videos and I'll see you all in the next one. Tell me what you need, please. Can show you wanna stay with me on a low key